you're gonna fall with if the customer's complaining about their cylinder moving back and forth all around very loose only when you don't have a load on it when you have a load on it it finally tightens up and it's acting all right but in order to correctly make sure nothing's going wrong you gotta look at it inspect it so you want to pick put no you want to pick it up and look at it see if you see anything missing I already seen, I already know what the problem is, but I'm going to show you, so you might have a better uh, recognition of what's going on. But for the most part, the bra the main brace, you can see that has damage on it from something either going down or getting hit. This shim, the shim is supposed to be sitting behind the cylinder with it's supposed to sit in there and sucks in right behind it like that. What I'm guessing is that these bolts either came loose or they hit something very good and significant to make it pop out. And then if you let the mask a little bit down, you can actually see, I can't show you too much, you can actually see though where it's been grinding up and down on the carriage, on the close to the anchor pins, I don't know if I can show you on here. So with something hitting that main bracket and that shim popping out, that's the whole complaint. The customer is saying that it's too loose when you have nothing on, no pressure on it. So I'm just going to put the shim back in and hopefully that's it. So the shim doesn't fit when it's on the ground, so I got to take off, unloosen loosen these two bolts for the main support. Do not take them off all the way off. You can cause the cylinder to fall on you. And without this being any supported, that can and will probably most likely hurt and kill you. So I just backed off the bolts a little bit to give enough space and free play for the whole bracket to move up a little bit to fit the shim in behind it and then make them tight again. But the best way is uh, lean, the, lean the mask all the way back a little bit, take them off a little bit, not all the way, just some. Put it back all on the ground and see if you have enough free play to slide that shim back in there. I backed off a little bit. I have the bracket loose. And I hope that's enough free play. We'll find out. Right here, real fast. You want to tilt, tilt it forward once you have it kind of below to the ground. You get more free play that way. Went all the way down with it. Come back and get my shim. Once again, you can see all the free play in it. Hopefully I can knock the shim down now with it like with it bandit's loose so i got the shim back in the bolts and clamp tight it's a little bit wibble wobbly still but it's a lot better it's still moving around so but they're not gonna drive it with all around the ground so try to pick up to where you think that safe operation level is for this can't they can't pick it up more than so much off the ground so i got it probably about six inches off the ground i'm moving the whole mass when i try to shake the forklift and also when you look at the frailer cylinders or mass inspections you want to look at these guards for the hoses because they become loose and over time they could fall off and cut hoses or bend this bracket a lot a whole lot of bad crap like this one is i could Move this around compared to the other one. So all it is is just a three-quarter bolt. You can't really see it right here and make that tight. Then it should not move 